ladies and gentlemen, this is the Dax speaking, and on today's video, I would like to talk about a subject that is really, really nagging to me, and uh, it's the, the question of the validity of the Big Bang Theory. You know, of course you know if you've been following my videos that I am a strong atheist, so I don't believe in God or the supernatural believe in naturalistic explanations for everything. Now, what kind of bugs me and pisses me off is when I'm uh, reading comments on some uh, video about creationism or the Big Bang and uh, I see lots of people, well-intentioned people I may, might, add, might add, but um, they're like totally mocking the creationists or the intelligent designers or whatever um, by claiming like absolute certainty on uh, how the or the universe came about these people always are pretty sure to ascertain the Big Bang Theory as a given as something that is totally proven and these people do not recognize a substantial part of science, a growing, a growing um, movement inside of science that has been neglected and that, in my view, deserves a shot to make its case. Now, uh, I am going to read to you um, a kind of manifest written by a big group of uh, supporters of alternative interpretation for the universe and it is from the field of so-called plasma cosmology so listen up an open letter to the scientific community the Big Bang today relies on a growing number of hypothetical entities things that we have never observed inflation dark matter and dark energy are the most prominent examples without them there would be a fatal contradiction between the observations made by astronomers and the predictions of the Big Bang Theory. In no other field of physics would this continual recourse to new hypothetical objects be accepted as a way of bridging the gap between theory and observation. It would at least raise serious questions about the validity of the underlying theory. But the Big Bang Theory can't survive without these fudge factors. Without the hypothetical inflation field, the Big Bang does not predict the smooth, isotropic, cosmic background radiation that is observed. Because there would be no way for parts of the universe that are now more than a few degrees away in the sky to come to the same temperature and thus emit the same amount of microwave radiation. Without some kind of dark matter, unlike any that we have observed on Earth despite 20 years of experiments, Big Bang Theory makes contradictory predictions for the density of matter in the universe. Inflation requires a density 20 times larger than that implied by Big Bang nucleosynthesis, the theory's explanation of the origin of the light elements. And without dark energy, the theory predicts that the universe is about 8 billion years old, which is billions of years younger than the age of many stars in our galaxy. What is more, the Big Bang Theory can boast of no quantitative predictions that have subsequently been validated by observation. The successes claimed by the theory's supporters consist of its ability to retrospectively fit observations with a steadily increasing array of adjustable parameters, just as the old Earth-centered cosmology of Ptolemy needed layer upon layer of epicycles. Yet the Big Bang is not the only framework available for understanding the history of the universe. Plasma cosmology and the steady-state model both hypothesize an evolving universe without beginning or end. These and other alternative approaches can also explain the basic phenomena of the cosmos, including the abundances of light elements, the generation of large-scale structure, the cosmic background radiation, and how the redshift of faraway galaxies 
increases with distance. They have even predicted new phenomena that were subsequently observed, something the Big Bang has failed to do. Supporters of the Big Bang theory may retort that these theories do not explain every cosmological observation. But that is scarcely surprising, as their development has been severely hampered by a complete lack of funding. Indeed, such questions and alternatives cannot even now be freely discussed and examined. An open exchange of ideas is lacking in most mainstream conferences. Whereas Richard Feynman could say that science is the culture of doubt, in cosmology today, doubt and dissent are not tolerated. And young scientists learn to remain silent if they have something negative to say about the standard Big Bang model. Those who doubt the Big Bang fear that saying so will cost them their funding. Even observations are now interpreted through this biased filter, judged right or wrong depending on whether or not they support the Big Bang. So discordant data on red shifts, lithium and helium abundances, and galaxy distribution, among other topics, are ignored or ridiculed. This reflects a growing dogmatic mindset that is alien to the spirit of free scientific inquiry. Today, virtually all financial and experimental resources in cosmology are devoted to Big Bang studies. Funding comes from only a few sources, and all the peer review committees that control them are dominated by supporters of the Big Bang. As a result, the dominance of the Big Bang within the field has become self-sustaining, irrespective of the scientific validity of the theory. Giving support only to projects within the Big Bang framework undermines a fundamental element of the scientific method, the constant testing of theory against observation. Such a restriction makes unbiased discussion and research impossible. To redress this, we urge those agencies that fund work in cosmology to set aside a significant fraction of their funding for investigations into alternative theories and observational contradictions of the Big Bang. To avoid bias, the peer review committee that allocates such funds could be composed of astronomers and physicists from outside the field of cosmology. Allocated funding to investigations into the Big Bang's validity and its alternatives would allow the scientific process to determine our most accurate model of the history of the universe. So these are my concerns. Certainty is very very dangerous as can be seen here now I am not stating that I support one model over the other but I do recognize the Big Bang's problems like its uh, unfalsifiable entities now um, what matters to me is that there is transparency and fairness in scientific discourse development and allocation of funding so uh, whenever you feel too certain and uh, think the Big Bang is the answer to every creationist argument please don't make your mockery of them turn into mockery upon yourself because there is a very strong possibility that the Big Bang is false like black holes and stuff like that if you like the video please subscribe I'll see you in the next clip ciao